How you doing? This is Noel Cogburn with California Tool Company. This is Doug Gillis with SkywayTools.com. Good afternoon. Today I want to show you a beautiful tool. I think it's a really a cool tool. It's a digital battery tester. Now this is kind of designed to take the place of your traditional load tester. These are affectionately known as the toaster. Uh, this is going to do just as good a job, if not better, in less time, and as you can see, a much smaller footprint, comparably priced. So I'm going to show you how this works now. First of all, the engine's not running, but it was recently. So we know this battery might be suspect, it might be good. We're not sure. So we're going to connect this thing up, positive to the positive, negative to the negative, and we get an immediate voltage reading here. It's telling us that this battery sitting has 12.7 volts, and that's in the ballpark. That's what we want to see. It does have an on-off. So next, we're going to go into the test mode. We're going to choose SL1, which stands for uh, Standard Flooded Battery, which is what this is. You can change that, though. Next, we're going to enter the cranking amp capacity of the battery, what the battery originally had. And it says on the label there, 700 cranking amps. So we're going to enter it. I've already entered 700, but if you need to change that, it's real simple with the up or down arrows. The next time we press this enter button, it's going to do the actual test. And it's going to take a snapshot of what the battery's doing, and it's going to give us a pass or a fail, and give us the effective cranking amps of the battery. So here we go. In this case, as you can see, it's tested it, it's failed it. Uh, the, now the effective cranking amps it shows are 275, considering this battery started out with 700. Indeed, this battery has failed. And it may still be running the car, but it's, it won't for long. And we need a new battery here. So anyway, the advantages of the Solar BA5 are that you don't need to charge the battery fully before you do the test. As you can see, this battery wasn't fully charged, wasn't up to its full capacity, and was still able to give us an accurate picture of what was going on with the battery. Now, if we use this older style tester, if the battery's not fully charged, it won't effectively test it properly. You won't get a correct reading. This will save you a lot of time. It's just as accurate. It's comparably priced, and it takes up a lot less space in your toolbox. Well, that's been our new Solar BA5 test for you. We're happy that you watched. Again, this is Noel Cogburn with California Tool and Doug Gillis with Skyway Tool Company. And that's our cool tool for today. Thank you.